Hello, hello, guys. We are back in Chroma Endless. And, well, we have some more plants. Um, I haven't gone and done a bunch of the crazy stuff yet, but we're working on it. We're planning on it. We're getting there. I mean, let me quickly organize the inventory. Um, that can go there. That can go there. And then we need to come over here. I did make the redstone furnace in between episodes. Um, I've learned that we're going to need... I, I want to work on our enchanting setup. It's the goal. And so to do that, we're going to need a lot of leather. Um, like, to get everything just all set up, we're going to need a lot of leather. A lot of leather, a lot of books, lots of just fun stuff. Also, we need melon shelves, so we're growing some melons now. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um... That's a lot of books. We do need a lot of books, so that's good. It's just, we're gonna need a lot. Um, this should be growing melons. Oh, that just gives us the melon blocks. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, that's what we needed. Okay, that makes me really excited then. Um, how much leather are we up to? 51. Um, I just know that we're going to need some good bit, I don't know if we did like one more, actually that might be 36, oh I went over that, what's the next one, 42? There. And then if we just go ahead and we look at planks. I just know we're going to need a lot, so. Oh. Wasn't it like, what was it? Oh, we needed 14 of those. So if we just want to go ahead and make the 17, that'll be good. Okay. So. Those five are going to be there for the shelf of the infused rectification, but to do that we are going to need the infused sea shelves. Unfortunately, we cannot make those quite yet. Um, do we have glass in here? We do. Three. We'll just go ahead and get the five water bottles ready. And then we should be able to just go ahead and use, we're going to put, we're going to switch those out. Okay. So if we just look up the shelf, we should be able to go ahead and look at the C shelf. Can we go ahead and make these? No, we don't have the prismarine blocks, which I thought we did. Because I was fairly sure I'd gone out to go get the pr Yeah, there we go. I was like, I thought that we had gone out to get Prismarine. Specifically... Like, we'd gone out specifically for those. Okay, this is getting on my nerves. Why do I have so many potions at night vision? Okay, so there are those five. But then we... We do have to use these to purify, but we don't have the levels for that yet. So we're gonna have to go and make some of the other shelves beforehand. Which is why we come to the part of we need the pearlescent end shelves, which are end rods, ender pearls, in shelves. In shelves are dragon's breath and ender pearls. Pretty much we're just gonna need a lot, right? So does that use dragon's breath? Yes. So we're gonna need 17 bottles worth of dragon's breath. Um I think I made the four crystals. Uh 
Um, I guess I'm not too worried about... I'm really not that worried about what we need to do. In terms of normal bookshelves. But if we can enchant this, then that will be worth it. That's a lot of power and some nice quick draw. What's that power for? Or would it be worth like enchanting something different so that way we can... Power 1, power 3, quick draw, unbreaking. We don't need unbreaking because we can just do it with mana. Infinity, quick draw, tombstone, power 4, unbreaking 3. I mean, I guess that's decent. We'll just go with that one. We use some levels, but again, it's not too risky, too bad. We need some in stone, and we're going to need... Um, we should probably take, like, a stack of ender pearls with us. We are going to want to switch those over to the better pants. Um, do we have any... Can we make some fireworks, just in case? forget exactly how we make the fireworks. I haven't made these in so long. One paper and at least one gunpowder. And we still have lots of paper, so... We'll just go ahead and we'll make a stack of these. So that way, if we do end up making... Or getting some elytra, then we can fly. Which would be worth it. And we're going to be exploring the end anyways, so, you know, might as well. Um, what do we have a lot of blocks of? Um, we can use some netherrack. I might also just take a bunch of our wood that we have. Um, there's all of our spruce, so I'm going to assume that that should be fine. Ah, there's too many buttons. I have too many buttons to hit. Okay. We're also going to put the Terra Steel away, because we don't need it at the moment. We're also probably going to use a Steel Sword instead of the Leeching. And then we have our Auto Feed on, so I think we should be good. Assuming that we don't just die. Huh. Well, that's a fun little instance there. Okay, this is a lot better than our last bow, I believe, so that should help with it, and also we do have a better sword that I don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, we do have some really nice feather falling on these, which should help as well. Um, I guess the one other thing that I could do is probably... Uh, no, I don't really want to spin this. I believe to resummon, don't you put them... Like that. Ambient environment too. They're higher? be honest, of all the things that I expected, I did not expect to have to shh with the pillars to grow. Does that is that gonna happen every time? Cause that's gonna be really incredibly annoying if that happens every time. Like very, very annoying. 
I guess we start pillaring though. I think we do have a cloud that would protect us from fall damage. I don't know if we want to sacrifice. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, let's look at... Let's get some more bottles. Holy cow. This is insane. We can get plenty of endstone. We need that. I think the dragon heads are probably the last big... ...obstacle for us. I think we overshot that one. That one we undershot. There's that one. I'm like... I... Okay, so we hit that one. We way undershot that one. I'd prefer it if you didn't do that. Okay, so we got that one. Ow. And there goes that one. Um, let's switch out that one for the cloud. And then we'll just quickly come over or up here. This is just the easiest way I know to get over. I know it'll use more blocks, but also it'll be worth it because then we can just move. Can we hit it at that angle? Yep, yep we can. Okay. Uh, that's really annoying. We just need to get over to that one. We'll just kind of rage over here, I guess. I mean, until we can fly with Elytra, this is kind of the best that we have, and we're not getting an Angel Ring anytime soon. So. Can't we just, like, can't we not... We forgot those two. I didn't even look over there, but I know that we got the other ones, so. Wow, the fact that I actually hit both of those is kind of amazing. Hello, friend. And we don't have to worry about the bow breaking. So, that's also an- well, I mean, we do if we run out of mana. Dear goodness, that's a lot of dragon's breath around us. But, our unlimited food is kind of helping us out. Oh, I guess our last bow didn't break on us, it just- we ran out of arrows is more what happened. Okay, and then this should give us... 
decent damage. It does like a, ha a heart and a half more than the... Oh, come on. I didn't even do anything. Is it like his wings that are doing damage to us? I think there's an enderman hitting us too. I think there's a lot of endermen hitting us. I wasn't even near the dragon! It's like we're lagging so much I can't even hit these guys. That was incredibly annoying. Oh, you're landing again. How sweet of you. Okay, let's not land like that. And now the server lags so much. So we can't even hit him. Hello? Oh, go away. This is like the buggiest Ender Dragon fight I think I've ever had. It's going a lot faster than the last one though, so. At least I will take that. You're just, you're literally asking me to look you in the eyeballs when you walk up to me and look me directly in the eyeballs. How many arrows do we have left? Probably. Be nice if we could hit him again. Do you want to come land, friend, friend, o buddy, o pal? Oh gosh, we've gone through a lot of arrows. Because we almost had like a stack and a half, and now we're down to. Why are you so high? We're down to less than a stack. Come on. Come on. We'll also get some nice XP packs, which will help in our. Infusion craftings. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh, we're so close. Dragon scale, the experience. Where? Oh, so the drops are over here. Okay. I was like, where? We should have gotten a lot more than just that. What was this that we got? An epic shader grab bag. Shader's Angel's Thesis. Huh. Weird. And we do need dragon heads, so, you know, I'll happily take a dragon head. We're gonna place those, so that way we can actually break this and get it. Did I get the heart? I did get the heart. Okay. I was like, please tell me. All right. One. I 
I mean, there's still definitely some more that we can do. And we definitely need to work on getting the rest of said important things. Like the other dragon heads and whatnot. But we do also need to go out and explore just a little bit. So, let's go ahead and we'll just come over here and we'll teleport out of here for a little bit. Um, this seems pretty in line. Okay. Placing blocks on this pack is just so interesting. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't hate the Java way of doing it. It's just kind of weird when you're not used to it. Okay, and then we'll take an Ender Pearl. Toss that in there. Um, I don't see any cities at the moment, but... That went a little bit farther than I expected. Or no, that actually was perfect. Great. We're gonna need a lot of coarse fruit, so it is worth while to just go ahead and get some while we're here. I mean, I just know that we're gonna need like purple -pur blocks, and we're gonna need some popped coarse fruit and all that fun stuff. Can we go ahead and eat one? Because that, yeah, it'll assist in giving us hearts. Um, there, I'd imagine that that should be plenty. Um, I'll just stick it in there for now. Okay, so let's look at Journey Map. Is there anything that we can see? I mean, there's this little temple -y thing over here, I guess we can come to. far enough. That's not going to hit either. I forget, do these... What are those? I'm kind of scared to know what those are. Um, I think there are some like specific indoors and stuff that we can get. So those should be interesting, you know? if we can manage to find some of those. Um, I guess there's like another one of those funky looking things over here. What is this? A collapsid. Or a capsid? A capsid. Interesting. An end city would really just be the greatest though. Getting over there also doesn't seem like a bad idea. To whatever the heck this structure thing is. Up. Um, will that stretch that far? I think so. Uh, by a singular block, but it got here. That's what matters. Ooh, you know the other best thing to do. Oh, come on. I didn't even hit anybody. I'm actually going to die. Can you can you please stop? I asked nicely. Oh, a phantom. Yeah, get rid of you. I just I just wanted some obsidian because you know it's really hard for us to get obsidian and I don't really want to go through the whole process of making it so oh there's literally a phantom just sitting in here okay there's also crying obsidian which is an interesting thing that's very interesting biome over there as well 
What are you? You're... Are all the Endermen in here just gonna be angry and upset and grumpy? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Oh, it's just a dragon egg. That's it, I came up here for a dragon egg. What are you? I wanna smack you. Oh, no, there's like more up here. Oh, there's gravel and dirt and sand. So, literally nothing helpful. Got it. Let's roll over there. This biome looks like it could be interesting. I mean, I like the end overhaul mod, which I think is what this is. It's like the same one that kind of like most packs use, but also it's it gets really boring just doing the same ones over and over again. What does that say? Ender ore. I just I just want a city. I just want an end city. Uh, I don't think that's gonna make that up there. Um oh these are purple blocks. I know that we need some of these. It would be nice to know what exactly this is. Yeah, let's just... Oh, it goes down in. Okay. Um, what can we put away? We can put away the obsidian and the purple. Ooh, and rods. Thank you. It's like there should be more here, but I'm... Oh, there's something. Oh, an end city map. Heck yeah. And I'll take the books. Books are good. We like books. Um, empty maps, paper, compass, book and quill. We might as well take the book and quill with us. I keep hitting the... Uh, I keep hitting the wrong things. Okay. Like, what are, what's stuff that we're just not going to be using a lot? Okay. We'll just stick some of that in there as well. Oh, there are multiple. I feel like this was supposed to be on the surface. And something broke. Berserker's Fury. Firework Stars. Take the Chorus Fruit. Um, I don't really want to touch anything else in here, so I guess we'll take the gunpowder if we're gonna start making fireworks. Okay. Well, that was at least worth it if we got an in-city map. So, what do we need to go? We need to go southwest to get to that. I don't know if this is, like, showing us the closest city or not. I would say probably not. What was I looking at? Oh, it's just the same dirt thing. Um, hopefully once we get to this end city, then I think we'll be... We'll be fine. It's just a matter of how far away is this. So I might just cut until we get a little bit closer. We'll just go ahead and we'll do that. Okay, and then when we get to the city, or at least when we start like appearing on the map, then I'll show you guys what we need to do, or where we are, or whatever. So, I uh, will see you guys in a second.
So we found, I, I mean, I was on my way, but I did end up finding whatever the heck this is. I have no clue what exactly is going to be on this. It looks like it's just kind of like a crash ship kind of a thing. But I would imagine they have to have something on here. I mean, here's at least a chest. Not that it has anything in it. Why is it like all of these things are completely useless? Like, I mean, it's cool that this is a structure, but then, like... Could you, could you give us something? About to just break out my axe and start chopping. Which might not be a bad idea. Oh, I guess I technically don't need the axe. I can just chop it like that. There has to be some sort of a reason that this thing is here. It can't just have nothing. Like, there's no way that they're just going to give us this. And there's literally going to be nothing to it. No, they definitely just gave us this and there's nothing to it. Uh, is this just another one right over here? I don't know how far away this in city is either, so that's like, that's kind of why we're exploring at least a little bit. I mean, there are some things. And yeah, no, that's just another one and it looks the exact same. So, okay. Literally just nothing there. Great. I did find another one, like the little crashed ship looking things right here. So we might just kind of come look at this real quick. I mean, I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, it's just on its side this time. But there's nothing in it again? Are you serious? No, there has to be. It's just the instance blocking it, probably. Yeah, see, there's one. It's like, there's no way. There's no way that we got double duped. Ooh, pop course fruit. We do need that. And phantom membranes. Um, what can we put away? We'll put away this wood. And all of this random garbage that we don't need anything of. Oh, we got a new thing. Take, we'll take that, we'll take that, that. There were two chests in these, correct? Hey, there's the other one. Um, a lot of those, an empty map, an in-city map, book and quill, more books, more ender pearls. I was gonna look at that one. Ooh, more end rods. I just know we're going to be needing those, so if they're here and they're free, we might as well use them. Okay, so back to keeping heading this direction. Okay, uh, we've actually found it. And there is a ship as well to it, so... This is, this is very good. We like this. Um, I'm surprised that the map hasn't started loading in yet. Because we're like, we're very close to it. We're just going to do it the old fashioned way. I mean, it's nice at times, but also it gets on my nerves. So it's easier to just 
do it the old-fashioned way than have to worry about trying to do all the fancy stuff that the new people do. The map should start loading in like literally any second. I mean, we could literally see it in the distance and it's already loading in on JEI and it has a ship. Everything is going to go fantastically. Hopefully our gear doesn't break. If not, we can just make something new diamondy because I mean, we have a hundred some diamonds, so I feel confident in that. There we go. There it is. Are we close enough to throw an ender pearl yet? No. Come on. Watching the map kind of load in is kind of interesting, honestly. I feel like that should be close enough. Yeah, that's definitely close enough. Some shulker shells will be nice. 